made it. Dan did not make it tonight. So sorry, everybody. You've got the three of us for now. Yeah, you got to put up with <laughs> us. <laughs> we'll try to be entertaining. Hopefully, you guys can ask questions and stuff, and we can keep the ball rolling. But Dan I is hope on. He has a good uh, excuse. <laughs> Dan is on um, daddy duty. Yeah. Oh, okay. Meg's out of town, so he's got to take care of Ash. Dan got his fun trip, and now Meg gets hers. So. <laughs> I right. have to deal. I have to deal with it too. My wife's leaving for four days and in, in two weeks. Oh, She's like, if you're going on a trip, I'm going on a trip. <laughs> <laughs> but yours was a business trip. <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> business. That's what I, right? that's, what I, that's what I tell her. <laughs> of course. <laughs> well, I so, wonder. If, I wonder if Dan's watching this on the big screen. <laughs> probably. While he's on daddy duty. Probably. He's probably probably going. Josh, there's no background. Come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, Dan, will, Dan said he is going to try to get the baby down and get on. So nice. you'll be able to piss him off as soon as he gets on. Everybody can start making comments and see there how you quickly go. we can make him mad. Nice. I'm just finishing dinner, so bear with me here. Yeah, me too. Yep. <laughs> GT Pro, we missed you this this year. We didn't see you, or at least I didn't see you. Maybe you found Dan. I think so. I think I saw him at um, somewhere. I can't remember. It might have been on um, Ocean Avenue. Ah, okay. Maybe. I can't remember. I know that we did see him, though. I'm pretty sure. Cool. Um, let's see. I'm just read through the comments. Um, have we recovered from Car Week? Uh, trying to. My suitcase <laughs> is still sitting here, and it's not opened yet. I haven't done laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I have not Car opened week. my suitcase. <laughs> I mean, Actually, it looked like just tons of fun. Like I, I was surprised at how many videos... You guys got out, or Dan? Dan Dan worked really hard to get those yeah. videos out. He we'd get home from our daily stuff, and he would start working on those like right away. Yeah, yeah, we'd all go relax, and Dan got to work. So yeah, I <laughs> I kind of feel bad, but I don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm the same. Uh, let's see here, the yellow 360s. It's pretty nice. Oh yeah, uh, I wish I could come there and drive it and compare. It's not as nice as yours, Gabe. Um, well, it has twice as many miles, so expected. It, it for what it is though, it's actually a really nice car. It, it'll make a good car for somebody. It's got a few very minor cosmetic things, but yep. yeah, I'd be curious to drive the gated car that's converted versus a factory car next to each other. Just what was see. your impression? Well, ha had you driven a gated factory before? I actually haven't even driven this one yet. Oh, okay. It's been <laughs> so hot and we've been busy. I just it was like, you know, whatever. I'll drive it when when I have a chance, but I haven't driven it yet. Cool. Yep. Um, so, anyways, that's that. For a songway, we saw a few. I mean, I don't. They don't really excite me too much. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What about you guys? I'm not. No, it looks better in person, but no. <laughs> Did it? Did it still it, looks yeah. like a Mazda to me. Okay. Uh, yeah, it totally does. Yeah. CX5. <laughs> yeah, CX5. Um. And this is. I think about this a lot. Because we pretty much saw everything the first two days. Yep. And then like the, by the third and fourth day, you start seeing the same cars again. Or you see an, another iteration of some crazy car. And you're like, oh, there's another one. Yep. It's kind of weird. In a way, it's kind of sucks because uh, you get jaded by the cool cars. And you don't get as excited about them. So you got to keep yourself in check. <laughs> especially, <Yeah. laughs> especially there. Because there we saw some right. ridiculous, ridiculous stuff. Yeah. yeah, you saw it all. It takes uh, the fun away of driving around town now because you don't get to go. Oh, Aventador! <laughs> right, <laughs> singer. It's you like you, you drive down the road there, and it's like every other car is something cool. Yeah, Doesn't GTR Senna. It it's oh. just something cool. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and we're back home today. I'm driving around like trying to find something cool, and I didn't see anything today. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you guys saw the best of the best of the best. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We got uh, 430. Looks good. Yeah, we took. I took the pictures in our new little area in the building. Um, so they came out pretty good. We're gonna do some different lighting right there, and paint the ceiling black, and that's gonna be where we'll probably take the pictures. We may get one of those car carousel things to spin the cars around, so you can put the camera on a tripod and take the pictures as it's spinning to kind of get them all in one spot. That'd be sweet. Um, now we have to back it in. I take the pictures. Then I have to turn it around and take more pictures. It's not a big deal. Though. 
Let's see. Relax, Tyler. LOL. Yeah. yeah. I, he looks sorry, pretty relaxed like, to me. <laughs> well, I think I was standing like this earlier, and I think that's because I realized five minutes before this started, all my stuff was still packed up in my luggage. So I was <laughs> like doing a visual check that I got everything plugged in. This is a good question because um, there was so many cool cars. Oh we my talked, gosh. We talked about this a lot as we were walking around and doing whatever and eating and whatever. It's like, yeah, who's what was your favorite car? And it was like every day was something different. So I don't yeah. know. There's so many cars. It's really hard to pick one. Um, we did see a few standout cars, which we mentioned in the videos. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just from the videos, the ones that I feel like also where you see them uh, yeah. comes into play, right? Like, Well, it's it, interesting. It's not... Like the first day we were there, we're like walking around. We went to Ocean Avenue and we were walking around just like looking around, trying to find cool cars. We kind of walked down some yep. s streets that were off the main area. And, um, we see this F 50 sitting under a tree with the top <laughs> off. Yeah. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was just, just in a parking like, spot, or... like behind a Camry or something. And it's just like, damn. Okay. <laughs> Stands out more there though. Yeah. Yep. The G wagon. <laughs> oh man. I, I looked. The exotics sent their official press photos today, and the G wagon was not included. Um, <laughs> like, it shouldn't dang. have been. <laughs> we rented it on Turo, and it was a pretty good deal. It was really cheap. Yeah. All things considered, and uh, we got it. And the first thing the guy says is, "Hey, the um, hood doesn't latch on the driver's side <laughs> all the way." Yeah, don't worry about it. It'll be okay. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. All right. Well, when we get on the highway. The hood starts going like this, and it makes such a loud pound that you can feel it in the steering wheel. Oh my gosh! On the yeah. highway, like when it comes down, like, and we're just cracking up the whole time because it's such a turd. The suspension is all blown, so it goes over bumps, and we're just oh my like the God. guys in the back are hitting their heads on the ceiling. <laughs> it was bad. Or Jocko was, was in the middle back there. Jocko yep. had to sit in the middle because he's the smallest. <laughs> I felt Thanks, bad Draco. for him. He's used to that being in a little uh, But I don't know what's worth sitting in go. the middle or driving that thing. Those were terrible. And when we got to Exotics on Broadway, we had to drive through this crowd of people, hundreds of people on both sides, and we had to go through really slow. Yep. It was terrible. We were all in the car just like this. At least you had tinted windows in the back there. They weren't even that dark, though. <laughs> yeah, they really weren't. No. They were uh, pretty light, actually. We did not see Hoovy there, unfortunately. I think he was there, but we didn't get to see him. Yeah, we were like around him, look, watching his video today. Like, oh, Dan's he, there. Dan's there commenting. Yeah, nice. <laughs> he was he was out front, like on the 17 mile, and like we could see him driving around filming stuff, but we never actually ran into him. Hmm. Yeah, it, it's like that for a lot of YouTubers, actually. We did not go to the Casa Ferrari. I think it was like 2,500 bucks or something to do that. Yeah, it was super like, expensive. Is that the one you, you happen to drive by where you saw David we Lee's did, cars? No, that was actually – he must have rented the house or he owns it because all of his cars were in the driveway, and it was on the way to the house we were staying at. So we yeah. saw that. Okay. The Casa Ferrari was closer to town. It was in the Pebble Beach. Uh, yeah, Pebble gotcha. Beach. Um, but that I think that was the only car we didn't see in person was they had the SF90XX in there, and we didn't yeah. see that one out in the streets. Yeah, we did see an SP3 yep. driving around. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. Um, we saw, obviously, the 288 GTO that everybody you know, goes crazy over. That was cool. Put a shit paper bags over your head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there were so many people there. They, they did it differently this year. They shut down part of the street on Ocean Avenue. And they put up these barricade things that I think if a car hits it, it, like, flips the cars back up or something like that. Yeah. We blocked all the roads off. Um, and there was uh, police everywhere. Writing mm -hmm. people yeah. tickets and stuff. I, um, I'm pretty certain that P1 actually did get impounded. Did it really? Yeah, because there was a, a post on Instagram from, I assume the owner or someone that knows the owner with like the bad boys theme going. <laughs> a picture of it so. well we what drove happened? by uh, we were drove by on the highway and we were like what's going on there and there's a, a p1 and he's pulled over and then there's a wrecker behind the behind the cop mm. so we were 
debating did he break down, which is highly likely because of McLaren, yep. or was he getting impounded? We're not really sure. For doing three times the limit. <laughs> yeah, probably. I don't know what would be worse. <laughs> huh. You know, I yeah, don't know what, what would, would be worse. worse, breaking down or getting impounded. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so that was interesting. That was the only car that we saw pulled over that was like a hypercar, cr- crazy car, right? I think so. Pretty sure, yeah. Yeah. Um, apparently there was like 10 arrests or 12 people got arrested. And <laughs> how many citations they issued, I'm sure it was a lot. It was over like 300, I think. Yeah. Who drank the most? Actually, we didn't get too crazy, really. Nah, it's by the chocolate. end of the day, by the end of the day, we were so yeah. tired, nobody really felt. We just like hung out outside on the patio because it was so nice out, and you know, stayed up for a little while, and went to bed because we all got up early and kept doing it over and over. Yeah. I don't know about you, Tyler, but like the day after, halfway through the day, I was like dead. Oh yeah, I, <laughs> I was so exhausted. Yeah. It looked like so much fun, though, <clears throat> just walking around. Yeah, it really was. Out, taking yep. the cars, going to eat, look at more cars, go back to eat. <laughs> the, quail, the quail setup was really cool. Yep. Um, they had five restaurants there, and each restaurant was a different country theme. And hmm. basically, it's just a buffet, and the food's amazing. And you're just free to come and go however much you want, you know, whenever you want all day to any yep. of those restaurants that they had set up. They had like themed drinks as well. So like yeah. the British tent only had beer, like Sam yeah. Adams or Sam Adams. Uh, it's not Sam Adams. It, whatever the Sam Smith. Sam, there you go. Sam Smith. Yeah. Uh, they only had British beer, and then the other places had like themed cocktails. It was cool. It was a neat setup. Yeah, the house we stayed in was probably built in like the fifties and ha- hasn't been touched much since then. Yeah. But in the fifties, it was a high end house. It was mid-century modern style, really kind of creepy in a way. This woman, um, we're guessing who owned the house, was a famous golfer and tennis player or something like that. Yep. She had a display case in the house full of trophies dating all the way back to the 1920s. Yeah, it was pretty cool yeah. like, to see all of her accomplishments. But yeah, the house Did you get her name? <laughs> like, like... Uh, Loma something. What was yeah, it? Loma, Loma something. Okay. I can't remember. Uh, there was a picture of her on the wall that was like six feet tall, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like blown up from a newspaper. So it was yeah. really poor prick. <laughs> it was funny. And then Tyler and I got stuck in the basement oh, God. In, the, in the crappy beds. Oh we, yeah. We had the worst beds, but we had the windows. So we it did was like so, 50 degrees in our room. What, what would have been worse? Cause upstairs got pretty hot at night. Cause yeah. the doors wouldn't open, but downstairs was nice and cool. And Tyler and I had the windows like wide open. Yeah, it was awesome. So it was for it was that really aspect. Good. Yeah, the but beds. The bed, yeah. Bird. Well, oh Tyler probably had it the worst because in his room he had two twin beds. Yeah, and they, one was hard as a rock, and one was half hard as a rock, half <laughs> lumpy. <laughs> and the one I, the yeah. bed I had was a double, but one side was completely caved in from someone <laughs> sleeping only on that side for God knows how many years. And the other, the other side was like sleeping on a two by four. Yep. And if you get too far into the middle, you like fall into this divot. <laughs> so no one really swept, slept well. Well, huh? I don't think we did, but I feel like Dan Dan took the master. Yep. Um, and then Casey was next to that, and Jocko was in the other room. So yeah, I feel like they, they, seemed, they didn't complain sleep. at all. They were quiet when we were complaining. Yep. And they certainly didn't offer to trade. That's for no. sure. <laughs> What yeah, Jeff. Story? Thanks again for taking us out to dinner. Yeah, that absolutely. Was fun seeing you guys. Again. Oh, nice. Yep. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff and Cheryl. You guys all go. Yeah. Yeah, we went to the same place we went last year. What's that place called? Uh, Tarpies. Tarpies. It was pretty good. Uh, nobody jumped in the ocean. <laughs> no. I'm sure that water's freezing. It. Yeah. It was. It yeah. didn't smell great, and it was cold, and. Yeah. None of us were there to swim, so. It's interesting though, in the mornings, right, right on when you're right on the ocean like we were, it's very foggy every day, until what, like noon or something. But if you drive five minutes, it's completely sunny. Hmm. Yep. It's really weird. They call that the marine layer, I think. I don't know, but it, whatever it is, it's awesome because it keeps the temperature really cool. Hmm. Yeah. Um, and then a couple of the days, you could feel the water in the air, like you'd go outside and you get that must be, wet. Yep. 
<laughs> uh, no, Dan, I feel like this is a trap. He's there. <laughs> <laughs> a trap for what? Yeah. <laughs> what are we trapping you? It's a trap. <laughs> what uh? What was the Spanish Inn? Dan said you guys should stay there next year. The yeah, Spanish Inn? I'm not sure. Up. Okay. Sounds cool. Is that a hotel or something? Must be. <clears throat> Dan said you guys should stay there next year. Oh, it's the hotel in Pebble Beach. Oh, oh, oh Spanish Bay. Sorry. That next golf course north of us. Okay. Well, nobody told us where to go, so I don't yeah. know about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to text us, GT. You got to let us know what's going on. <laughs> like, what are we doing here? <laughs> Of course, I was the only single person there, so text me. Leave those guys out. <laughs> well, I can go talk to them and get them interested, and then we'll put them on Tyler. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so what what would you do differently next year? Because uh, last year it was go to the quail, right? Well, I think the last two years we went, we kind of did the same things. We did exotics on Broadway. We spent a lot of time on Ocean Avenue. We went to all the auctions. We went to Sotheby's. We went to... Um, Meekum yep, and RM. the other one, RM. Um, is it RM Sotheby's is one? Yeah. And then what was that other one? Um, um, by the Bonhams. Quail. Bonhams, that's the other one. Uh, so we'd probably try to find other cool stuff to do next time. Like there's, yep. there's other stuff we can do that we haven't tried yet. Um, I don't know, though. Yeah. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> you, you, you've come to the wrong place if you're not expecting that. Yep. I saw... What, is, what did Dan say? Oh, yeah, I bet. Oh, wow. Speaking yeah. of the quail, even though the tickets were expensive, it was really cool to go and see and do and say that we've done and everything. But I think a smart thing to do would just be to go to the parking lot, like drive and park in the parking lot and just walk around. Cause we did that. And there was more cars in the parking lot than there were inside the quail yeah. car show. Aside from the new car releases, everything yeah. else was in the parking well, lot. And it's everything. It's, huh. I mean, Koenigsegg's everywhere. Pagani's everywhere. Crazy, uh, you know, one-off cars, um, Bentley's and Rolls Royce everywhere. Just one after another. All the cool yep. Ferraris. Yep. Yep. I think um, if we do it next year, we need to somehow get invited to all the manufacturers, uh, like private events. Like that would be yeah. a cool way to change it up. I don't know how to do that. I don't have, you know. You know, I feel like I'm not the manufacturers, Dan or... <laughs> manufacturers are only going to invite people that yeah. might benefit them in some way. Yeah, I know. That's you the know? problem. Yeah. I don't know. I don't hate Broadway. No, Broadway is super fun. It's a fun event. I, having I, a VIP was nice. Like I would not do it if it was if we didn't have those VIP again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't like the crowds of people. I definitely don't like that. Yeah. But uh, having the VIP tickets and getting free food and drinks and alcohol the whole time, I yep. can't complain about that. Yeah, shade. <laughs> and shade, for sure. Oh, my God. Yeah. That was a lifesaver. Yeah, bring your own board broads. <laughs> <laughs> Car world is BYOP. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that would make a good t shirt. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Uh, I don't think any of us play golf. No. Nope. I used to play when I was in high school and everything, but I haven't. I haven't done it. That's a that's a sport for retired people that have extra time. Because you spend all day doing a round of golf. By the time you go there and you play the first round and you stop halfway and hang out and drink and then play another nine holes, you know, yep. it's like a four or five hour thing. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, uh, I got to meet uh, Shmi at Exotics. That was cool. Oh, yeah. We, him. we met him. He came right. and talked to us for a little bit. Um, yep. And Ed Bullion came by our table and talked to us for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, who else? I mean, Horatio Pagani was in our tent hanging out. <laughs> Talked to him for a little bit. <laughs> we didn't talk, talk to him, but he was right there like we could have if we wanted to. Yeah, that was yeah, pretty was cool, kind of cool. in the video. It was cool, yeah. And we saw uh, Christian von Koenigsegg. He was there. Oh, yeah. 
Um, Pretty sure uh, Hamilton Collection was there. Uh, Supercar Heather, I think, was there. Who was that one guy that I, I wasn't sure who it was, but you guys knew him? Um, I, I think that was Hamilton Collection. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, Hamilton Collection. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, they had two or three of their, their guys with them. So that was fun. Oh, this is a good question because we talked about that new guy at Cars and Vids doing videos with Doug and everything. And I don't I I think he's trying to be too similar to Doug. His mannerisms are kind of the same, the way he talks about the cars. I think he's gotta kind of do his own thing. I think he'd get more. That's what a lot of people are giving him crap for. Mm. Yeah, just stop trying yeah, to I know he's exactly. I know he's trying. He's probably trying really hard, you know. To it's not an easy, easy way no. to step in there because, like, I mean, you got. They must have known they were going to get a lot of pushback. Yeah. Hopefully, well, Doug's, you know, saying, "Don't worry, it'll pass." Just keep, I mean, keep Doug. Doug's been doing it for so long, and he's got so many videos, and everybody knows him, and they know how he talks about a car. They know how he does a review and everything, and it's a certain way, and yeah. he's just trying to do it do it the same and it's just not working yeah it'll it'll he'll smoothen it out it's like any big change with the brand like when you change your logo everyone yeah freaks out. yeah i didn't know he sold that car for 112 is that what it went for that seems pretty good hmm. uh the spiders don't really bring the money i i think yeah that's pretty good Stradman has the best look i don't i don't watch his video so i don't even know what she looks like yeah <laughs> 450 traffic stops probably yeah, that sounds about right yeah yeah they were on point they yeah there was a lot of cops they weren't taking any crap huh no 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 and they had hired rent a cops everywhere too yep they the, were everywhere the, the guys doing the street patrol on ocean were at least semi had a sense of humor like he would laugh when we make jokes and stuff but they were they were cool for the crazy job they had to do, crowd control. Uh, there was probably multiple kids driving nine eighteens. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we saw like what looked to be sixteen year old kids driving these multi million dollar cars. So, yeah, it just it's mind blowing. <laughs> you just wonder yeah. what the hell's going on in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, what was the oh it was a it was a Senna with the ground lights that it looked like yeah six year old oh. kid driving it was like what in the world <laughs> yeah there so sad <laughs> we were standing there and we were like trying to find the crappiest shittiest car we could like make fun of yeah we we're sitting there and the Senna goes by which nobody's gonna say a Senna sucks except for this one because it was a little girl driving it and she had or was it a girl or was it a it was a guy I, th okay. I think it was a guy. And it had Doesn't neon matter. light, like underglow from Fast and the Furious. It wasn't even neon. It was like rope lights. Like you could yeah, see and it individual was like LEDs. This, it was making this pattern <laughs> while it was driving. It would just like, it was, so, so it was could have been cool. Could like have been cool. Really poorly executed. No, it was. If you saw it, you'd have been like, "What? What? Are, what's going on here?" Yeah, Dan, the center was it, terrible. It's <laughs> like they Santa they took their dad's car out and like glued some rope lights on in Walmart parking lot before driving down to Ocean <laughs> Avenue. That's what it looked like. Yeah. The other thing we saw, like right after that, or was it before that? I don't remember. Um, Enzo said, "Never a Ferrari oh, will never be sold yeah. in pink," and there was a pink 488 that went by. Yep. Hmm. Somebody had painted it pink, and it, it, I think it may have been a wrap. I don't know, but it was terrible. I think it was like a plasti dip. Yeah, something. It was bad. Yeah. That uh, there was a video on Instagram of that car was at Exotics, and someone in a stroller totally like scraped the front end of it. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no. Yeah. Don't hit um, an F40. Even yeah, if I wonder pink. how many people got dings, paint scratches. In I'm the sure a lot. Office. We actually did see Wayne Carini. Um, yeah. he, we saw him at um, the RM Sotheby's auction. We were walking. We walked around to the back where they were unloading the cars, just checking stuff out. Yep. And there was a tester, an original Testarossa there that we checked out. Yeah. That you probably saw in the videos, and it was cool. And then Wayne Carini was there walking around. Yep. Oh, we, uh, we talked to Drag Times at the Quail too. Oh yeah. And also that guy, that guy that comes up to people and says, "What do you do for a living?" Oh <laughs> yeah, he, saw he him. came up to us when we rolled up to the quail. <laughs> yeah, did he ask you? Dan was like, "Uh, uh we have a dealership." And I was like, "Tell him about it, dude." Oh, I hope. I don't I know if it. it ever. I don't know if he ever put it up, but it was funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> I was one. I was riding with Dan one time, and some girl rolled down rolled down her window, 
and asked Dan that. <laughs> Dan, you probably remember that. Like, what are you doing? What did he say? Like, I forget. I, we were just like kind of flabbergasted. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing beats Meg's answer, that's for sure. What's that? That she did porn. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. We were sitting. Oh, this is a different story. Or is it the same one you're thinking of? We were Go sitting in a, re- in a restaurant. So we went to some Ferrari car show on the last day we were there. Um, and we got invited into the restaurant to have dinner with some of the Ferrari people there. And there's this woman sitting across from us. And <laughs> oh, yeah. I, she had a hat on. And it had a specific brand on the hat. And... I knew what it was. It's it's they make sex toys. Yeah. And I didn't want to say anything, but I thought it was funny because she had her kid next to her and her husband and it looked like her parents or something with her. And she was wearing this hat. It was like eight and people Tyler, at the table. Tyler finally said something about the hat and I just started to crack it. <laughs> Did you? To her? No, no, not to her, uh-huh. just to the rest of the table. And and then <laughs> Tyler took a picture of it trying to pretend he was taking a picture of Casey so he could get the yeah. woman's hat in the picture and send it, it to Meg. It's so weird. See if she knew what it was. I bet Casey knew what it was. <laughs> Casey didn't know what it no, was. He didn't know. But we saw her when we got out of dinner. They were driving away in a 48. It's like, <laughs> good for yeah. her. Yep. Show did the picture. You, did you send that picture to the group, Tyler? Uh, Yeah, I did. Okay, I thought so. I need to send that to a friend. I forgot about that. <laughs> show the picture Let's see it if you can show uh, that f40 i didn't look at it close enough to see if it was painted or wrapped uh it, i did i did notice like all the parts on the spoiler where it's all attached was all pink so it might have been actually painted yeah that, that's sure. why i think it was either paint or like a plasti dip because all those fine details had the pink all the way yeah. down in them so yeah it, it definitely was not a wrap yeah <laughs> yeah what was up with that guy jumping that was just obnoxious. That's Which guy? Thing. Nickster just brought him up. I th- he was in one of the videos. Uh, Dan caught it on camera. It was like, I think it was Exotics on Broadway. He was just yeah. running and jumping that, around the cars. Oh, that's yeah, his that stick, man. Yeah, yeah but who? He just, what does he do? <laughs> it, he, that's what he does. <laughs> like, what was he even doing, though? Like, he, he gets views because he acts like an idiot, so it works oh, for God. him. God. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Daniel Mack. Who's Daniel Mack? He's the one who asks people what they do for a living. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came up to us. That was funny. He sounds... Oh, there it is. <laughs> I... We'll see if anybody knows what, what that is. What is that? Die Johnny? <laughs> no. I don't no. know what that is. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to see. Uh, what are they doing with their hand? She is was that... just talking, but oh, I, okay. I was... The other half of the picture is Casey's face, so since he doesn't want his face on YouTube, I zoomed in. Okay. <laughs> Dan going <laughs> to get a new logo dress shirt for next year? Doubt it. Doubt it. Only if somebody buys it for him and yeah. bets him and he loses a bet. We need to get one with uh, Porsches on it for him. Yeah. Just for fun. <laughs> there was a track hawk for chicks. Oh, really? Did you get a picture? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Do you see many viewers? Anybody approach you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we had quite a few actually. It was cool. We like to talk to our fans. <laughs> what yeah. our five fans that we saw there? Yeah. <laughs> that was more than that. Yeah. It, it was super fun. It was like the people that come up and be like, you know, just oh, excuse me, you know, I I bought a 360 because of your channel or something. Yeah. And you're like. You know, I know, yeah. I know Dan gets a kick out of that shit, but I, you know, yeah. seeing it, like it's super cool too. This guy knows right here. This guy knows. <laughs> yep. Oh, the black F40. Oh yeah. We saw a black F40 driving around. Yeah. Yeah. That's the kind of thing where it's like, oh, there's only what, four of those, three or four of those in the world. And like, yeah, it's just driving. There you go. Yeah. I think there's five. Five? Okay. No, the F50 is sweet. I'd still take an F40, I think. Hmm. I don't know. That'd be a hard choice. They're both really cool cars. The F50 is nice because you can get the Targa. Yeah. 
have that top off. And yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't be upset with either. That's for sure. B12 manual. Top down. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. We saw what two Enzos. Two oh yeah, Enzos. one one drove from a uh, Ferrari of New England. He started here. Yep. Yeah, one of the Enzo guys, uh, or one of the guys that knows about him or something, has a YouTube channel where he's got like a really high mile one or something. Um, and we kept running into that guy over and <laughs> over again, like at least five or six times. Every time we'd go to an event, he would be there and be like, hey. It was basically <laughs> once a day. <laughs> yeah, it was really weird. If at least once a day. <laughs> he's got an Enzo with like 110,000 miles on it. Is that the one who drove cross, cross country? Yeah. Uh, I, is, is that the car? I think oh, okay. he had the little um, paint, like a little ding on the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was it was like the PPF had gotten ripped off. Mm. Yeah, it was it was cool to see that. And then we saw uh, another one. There was one at um, RM Sotheby's auction. Yeah, I feel like there might have been three Enzos. I don't remember though. It, it all turns into yeah, another one. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. yeah. Casey's hilarious. Oh my god! <laughs> the best part was Dan. Like we talked about this, we had a whole discussion standing in the street, and Casey's like, "I'm gonna go put a ten dollar bill in that car because it's so good." And Dan's <laughs> standing right next to us and just tunes us out. And we're coming back up the street, and Dan's like, "Who put a ten dollar bill in this car?" <laughs> <laughs> I missed yeah. that one. It was funny. It was good. And then, and then the owner was like, "What we?" Now, we actually knew the owner from last year because he had his car there last year and we were yeah. admiring it. He parked and behind us when Hoovy took out the 599 yeah. last year. And he's like, that was you guys that did that? <laughs> <laughs> he, he did some more stuff to that car. It's really cool. Yeah. He's a cool guy. We were going to meet up with him Sunday, but we were just all too exhausted. Yeah, oh, we that's were... the one Dan was going to film a video with. Yeah. We were kind of over it. Yeah. Crucial yeah. crazy cars. Okay. I'll make yeah, sure. He, I'm not, not we saw him last year too. I wanted to go kick him in the face, but I can't do that. <laughs> Crucial currently. guy. Mm -hmm. Is it 2019? Because he was, was earlier, jumping man. around and he like bends down with his camera and he screams and you're just like, hmm. what That's the people annoying. that watch the people that watch that I question like what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, the Bizzarini was cool. Um the complete resto yeah. I don't know if it was a resto mod, but restoration they did we saw a couple mm -hmm. a couple of those and they they're said they're coming out with a new one in 2026 so yeah there, it was interesting there was three guys there with bizzarini shirts collared shirts on and they were had the old one there on display and they were talking about how they're going to do a new one yep. i don't know how that's going to go we'll see we'll see the hypercar world i mean i think that there's they'll this find five people to buy them there's this craze of like reviving these old brands that never that you know that haven't existed in forever mm -hmm. hey, speaking of that one of the coolest booths at the quail was actually jaguar classic like dan casey and i or dan jocko and i went up there um just because they had a d-type and an e-type and told us all about how their program works and they have two different series well they'll they're they'll take your old jag and completely redo it or you can get a continuation where it's all new new build but it's you know the vins in line with the cars from the 60s so it was super cool to see like and just how that guy talked about it and all the racing stories they had from classic jaguar so it, yeah it, that was super neat yeah the lusos are cheap i mean they're doing the same thing the ffs did people just aren't interested in them they're 200 that seems high <laughs> I mean, they, considering they were like 400 plus new, huh. you know, I it's still a V12. I, I mean, they, they're only what five years old now. Yep. The oldest one's five years old. So, hmm. yeah, they'll keep dropping. They'll keep dropping. And the FF will keep dropping as miles get put on those. I just I worry. Those are great cars, but they have a lot really complicated drivetrain and everything. Hmm. I just worry about the longevity of those. The Zonda was cool. Yep. The two Zonda R's there. Yeah, I think there. we had two of them. Yep. Man, the attention to detail on the bodywork and stuff on those is just insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get, the carbon just, fiber weave lines up perfectly on every panel. Everywhere. 
Somebody uh, spent thank, thank Horatio for that insane <laughs> amount of time perfectly matching all that carbon. Horatio, great weave, man. <laughs> yep. Well, that what the carbon that impressed me the most was the roof on Shmi's car, the Zenvo, because mm-hmm. it had this crazy like pattern in the carbon. So there's like layers of carbon on in it, and like something you can't see in the videos, it just looks like a light purple roof. But it, it's super cool to see in person, like. The attention to detail there is like holy cow. Yeah. Oh, we have a visitor. Uh oh. We have a visitor. <laughs> hey. This yeah. car uh this car I, I I was curious about this and I figured out why that brought so much money. The reason is it's a VIN number that has racing pedigree. So they're able to do a full restoration on that car and race it in a specific series of racing that only that specific car can be in. It can't be a reproduction. It has to be an original car, even though that car will not be original. It's still using some piece from that original car, so it can do some class of vintage racing. That's cool. So, I, did not know cut, that. Cut I don't know out. if that makes it worth $1.9 million, They're but... just going to retain the little piece of uh, metal that has the VIN on it. <laughs> probably. <laughs> and then build around it. Yep, probably. Crazy. Yeah, get some money back recycling Hello. the rest of the aluminum. <laughs> Hello, sorry, I uh, had to put the little guy down. Um, I think so you just clicked that, Dan. No, no, huh? no, never mind. Oh. Looks, uh, sounds uh, like it was a success. He yeah. He's down for the moment. Um, <laughs> I only took an hour and 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Something like that. Yeah, he, he uh, so Meg's on vacation this week, a well well deserved vacation. So that was my punishment for going out to Car Week. Is uh, <laughs> I am I am home alone with the little guy. So, um, but yeah, he's he's down. Car Week, yeah. As as the guys have been telling you guys, it's it was just incredible this year. Absolutely incredible. It was definitely better than last year. There was more oh, cars, yeah. more cool oh, yeah. cars this year. More people yeah. it felt like too. At least at exotics. Yeah. Oh, exotics. Definitely was, more people there. Twice as many people. It was crazy. Yeah. Like absolutely crazy. I have to say, like, I, I mean, it's almost getting out of like hand too busy. <laughs> like you can't, you can't appreciate the cars. Yeah, yeah. it's so dense. So well, we got there pretty early, and we actually got to walk around and see everything. Yeah, and then by the time it really got going, it was shoulder to shoulder, yeah, through the whole yeah. street. And then they had a couple screw ups where they sent like cars trying to pass each other. Yeah. It was like, oh man! Wow, that just, sounds mm. like uh, what Coda has become with F one lately. Just <laughs> yeah. such a shit show. Yeah, it's basically it. But the Quail was really impressive. I mean, it's definitely like it's it, it's not something I would want to do every year because of how expensive it is. But it's something that you have to do. Like as yeah. a car enthusiast, like to go experience that, you're just the whole time you're just like, oh, oh my god, oh my god. Mm-hmm. Look, at that. look at that oh my god <laughs> yeah and then like it's funny is like you're walking around and you're like oh that's horatio pagani oh you know like you know there's there's um christian von konasek like we, we literally walk in and konasek's right there at the entrance and we walk over to the konasek booth and we're just sitting there like looking at the car and also i look over and literally like a foot and a half away from josh is christian von konasek talking to someone i'm like josh Josh, I almost, Josh. I almost went, went up to him and said hi to him in Swedish, but I chickened out. <laughs> that would have been fun. That would have been great. <clears throat> it was, it was awesome. I was gonna say hi, I like your cars, but <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> I, that's, that's the weird thing is like I don't like fanboying out over yeah. people because I yeah. just feel I, I'm that's not me. Like, yeah. Uh, the entrance fee to the quail was one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars per person. Yeah, um, which Wait, is actually didn't cheaper. One of you not go? Huh? Uh, no, we got so yeah. I I got in the lottery and actually got uh, where I could buy tickets, and they only let you buy four tickets. So I bought four, and there was five of us. So um, Tyler was the unlucky man out who had to go scour the internet and find a ticket so you can you can find them secondhand yeah. plenty of people like, are selling them they were going for a, over two thousand dollars a few days before it 
Yeah. So like, wow. the trick is if you if you do go, if you can't get in the lottery, find a ticket early because at the yeah. last minute the prices went way up. Yeah, I, I think did if not you're, pay two thousand dollars. If yeah. you have the opportunity, it's worth doing once. Yeah, it's worth spending yeah. the money and going once. Oh yeah, no, I would I would definitely. I mean, it's funny because at first I was like, no, I don't want to do that again. Now I'm like, yeah, yeah I kind of want to go again. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we saw DDE at, um, at Exotics on Broadway. We he, we saw him at Quail too. Oh yeah, at Quail. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So his yeah, cars I mean, in person are pieces of crap. They're turds. Yeah, it's really? like whatever. Yeah, they're, they're daily driven. <laughs> they live up yeah. to their brand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone someone said we put a sticker on Dave's car, and that that's not ours. That was Ferrari's online. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I saw that. It was not. It's not the Dan's logo. It was not the Bassett. Yeah, Rim- Rimac was there. They unveiled something. The new Rimac. Oh, the Rimac Time Attack. That's what it was called. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, what else did we see? I don't know. We saw a lot of stuff. You saw the uh, the T fifty, right? Gordon Murray's. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Fan fan car. We also we also I saw the great the oh. great new Lamborghini Electra. Uh-huh. God. Two plus two. <laughs> the, the, the Lamborghini turd, electric it's turd. Absolutely yeah. terrible. It's so terrible. It was it was the biggest disappointment of the whole coil. Like, what was really funny about that is uh, what's the CEO's name that that Italian dude? What's his name of Lamborghini? I, I Whatever. He comes out and does his little speech about the car and how great their technology is and yada yada whatever. And they pull the cover off and. There's some clapping, but the clapping is embarrassing because it's so <laughs> quiet. And <Jeez. laughs> they'll clap for like three seconds and then it's quiet and then someone else claps. It was bad. Yeah. It's like slow clap. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised that you say that, John, that I have a vast knowledge of cars because I was getting so much shit for not knowing. <laughs> because you didn't know cars. that Espano Suiza or whatever the hell. Yeah, yeah. I didn't <laughs> I know, know that, that car either. and I didn't know what the Apollo was. And so people were like, oh, how can you call yourself a gearhead if you've never heard of Espano <laughs> Who was Suiza? saying that? And I was like, so I Googled people that. in the comments. Yeah, YouTube that. comments. People literally gave uh, me crap course. about the Hispano Suiza. I, I guarantee I, I could tell, I could show a car to any of those guys but oh, yeah. they would not know what it is. So it's just. Yeah. Well, the great, the yeah, the, the Tatuara, like I've never seen one in person. I've only read about it. I don't, you yeah, know, the black wing. It. Yeah. And so, but the Hispano was my favorite because I, so I Googled it and I was like, oh yeah, that's why I don't know them because the last time they made a car was 1938. <laughs> <laughs> they so did the, have a car. They did have a car. Remember the white carbon fiber car last year that yeah. they had? Yeah. So, I mean. I don't remember it, but I saw the pictures of it, and I was like, it, it was boring as hell. Yeah. And the new car was too. just <laughs> weird. It, the, hmm. the car they unveiled there was just really weird. Yep. Um, but, yeah, I got crap about that. I got crap about the Tatuara or Tuatara, whatever it's called. And here's my thing, just kind of going out there and saying this. I don't really pay attention to a lot of the hyper cars because – they're not relevant to me. I can't afford multi-million dollar cars, so I don't really care about those cars. You know, like I don't. I've never seen an Apollo because the purpose I, of those cars is just for people to go, "Ooh, that's cool." Ooh, right. Like that. all that's the Bugattis, they don't go on a track. They don't. People, not daily people that know all the Bugattis, like there's yeah. 20 different Bugattis now, and I'm like, I don't know. It's a Bugatti. Like I, <laughs> I can Bugattis, recognize that Honestly, Bugatti. we saw a ton of Bugattis. All oh my god, over, they're everywhere, and they're so yeah. boring compared to the hypercars that they. Yeah, they're ugly. With. I'm sorry, it's a giant Volkswagen that's <laughs> ugly, with some carbon fiber, <laughs> <laughs> and a 16 cylinder engine. <laughs> oh my god, the food! Yeah, we had some yeah. good food. Seriously, no. The the best was the place that uh, Jocko for yeah. um, Casanova's. Casanova, yeah. That's that was super. Honestly, the burger place. Um, what was it called? Like burger Car- caramel burger bar. Caramel burger bar is yeah. super good. <laughs> it is super good. It's super good. Um, I'm trying to think what else we had that was really actually the food at the quail. The quail food was <laughs> really. It was <laughs> legit. Yeah. For, for buffet, yeah. I was like the shrimp. Yeah. Remember the shrimp at uh, Exotics on Broadway? Yeah. <laughs> so we were at Exotics on Broadway, and we're getting ready to leave. 
And all of a sudden, the caterers bring out this huge platter of like spicy garlic shrimp. And yep. we went to town. Oh, we were dude. like one of what, 15 or 20 people left at the tent? Yeah, the yeah it, was, tent. it was clearing out hard. <clears throat> yeah, we went to town on that shrimp. Like guys, you gotta go. We're closing up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Like, then why are you bringing out more food? By the way, I'm gonna apologize. I I have um some sort of bronchial infection or something. So great timing. Yeah. So that's why I'm kind of talking softly and coughing a lot. All right. Yes. So how's how soon are you buying your tickets for next year? We we're di- discussing not going next year. Um. It, which pains me to think and even say that it's mm-hmm. well we were also throwing around the idea of maybe going to goodwood yeah uh, so part, part of the problem is so it probably cost us i'm gonna guess close to 10 grand um the company because the company paid for it and it's a it's i mean it was pretty close to that not with the company so yeah yeah right individually yeah so that's, that's an awful lot of money to, for the company to cough out to probably not really benefit that much from. I mean, hmm. it remains to be seen. So this year I did the videos as quickly as I could because I wanted it to be as close to real time as possible. And I think that made a huge difference yeah. because previously I would wait until I get home and then edit them when I get home and I have time. And by then no one cares about car week anymore, right? So I felt like it actually did give the channel a little bump, mm-hmm. but I mean, that bump, you know, translates to what, maybe like a hundred bucks in additional revenue or something yeah. from, from AdWords. Yeah. So, um, and that's the other thing is like, if we were to say, oh, well, we're gonna go out there and sell some cars, it sounds stupid, but like we have regular old Ferraris. No one really cares about them out there. They're not special. Like there's so much crazy crap out there yep. that a regular Ferrari just blends in. Yep. So I don't think we'd be able to sell anything. I don't think we'd necessarily mm-hmm. gain anything out of it. Yeah. Um, if we were to, to prearrange going to a bunch of rubbing elbows things where we could meet some people, that might be different. Yeah, yep. that's fair. So, but that's really like the problem is all those rubbing elbow events are either astronomically expensive or super impossible to get into. Like you have yeah. to be invited, you have to know someone that knows someone. Cause like, you know, even something like going to the uh, Casa Ferrari or whatever is just, I mean, I, I think yeah. it was like, was it like $20,000 or something like that? Oh I, no, it wasn't that much. It was like 2,500 a ticket. A ticket, yeah. 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 Still. We didn't think we have to stay there. Man. I mean, what do you get for that though? I mean, you get to go look at some Ferraris. I mean, we looked at Ferraris <clears throat> for, for five days straight, yeah. you know? Yeah. 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 Right. And and thanks for the thanks for saying stuff like that. That, that actually I, that was my hope was to get out before everyone else. Oops. Oh yeah. They were and, great. And like trying like cuz you know like I just saw today a bunch of the videos are coming out today that you know from Car Week. So it was yeah. Yeah, they were fun fun videos. It felt like you were there. Just hanging mm-hmm. out. Yeah, that, yeah, that was kind of my hope was to just kind of almost do like a raw dump of everything. You know? um, yeah, the uh, the Mondial was pretty hilarious. Oh my god! <laughs> it was the more oh you looked god. at it, the worse it got. <laughs> Dude, that car, I wanted it so bad. Josh was like, "No, no we're Dan not was like, it. get over here. You need to come and see this." I'm like, "No, I'm good." <laughs> I could tell them. I could. It looked like they had spray painted the car or something. It was oh, it's so, so bad. bad! So bad. I mean, it's truly the worst fry we've ever seen on the road. <laughs> yep. Like just terrible, terrible. <laughs> I was so excited to get you know the chance to see you bid on it, and then it started out at ten thousand. I was like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> we're done here. <laughs> and then it just kept going. We were oh we were God. just both like jaw on the floor, like. Who's bidding on this podcast? I was watching when they were bidding, and the, the, the guy that kept going back and forth, they were phone bidders. Yeah. So they weren't there in person to look at the car. Ah, oh, They're going to be so and upset. No I guarantee idea. you that they wouldn't be bidding if they saw that car in person. Because it oh, looked yeah. a lot better in the pictures and in the brochure than it did in person. Wow. Oh, and that goes for a lot of the Mecham cars. They're a little edgy. That they're... Jag with the wing and stuff? <laughs> oh, my God. 
I mean, there was cars that were smoking and cars that had rust under them that looked okay on top and stuff. Mm-hmm. So if you're going to buy a car from there, go and look at it. And don't yeah. drink. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you're bidding, don't be drinking. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. It's not a good uh, combination. That was the other thing. Oh, my God. Like, had a perpetual hangover the entire week because – basically everywhere you went they either had free alcohol or we bought alcohol and so you're day drinking for a week straight basically it was like that was rough man i'm too old for that yeah <laughs> oh, God. i wasn't i drank once during the day and i was like nope not doing that again <laughs> <laughs> it was bad man i basically had like a headache the entire time and add into it the cough and stuff I had, and it just, I felt like absolute ass. So, uh, man, that was, that was, that was rough. Yep. So if, if we have UK viewers that can give us cheap places to stay around Goodwood, hmm. wink, yeah. wink, nudge, nudge. I had a guy that lived, he said he lives like a couple miles from Goodwood and he offered to put me up. Like this was a couple of years ago. Yeah. No idea if he still watches, but I don't you know. Probably find a place. <laughs> I bet it's way cheaper than Monterey. Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea how much it costs to get in. Yeah. And I feel like that's one of those where like you want to pay for like some sort of VIP or something. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because if you're there doing you the DA, to, uh... you're you're gonna be like, you know, I can't see shit. We need to yeah. be comfortable. <laughs> You get to yeah. hear the cars and see them there. Yeah, that's what's so difference. cool about it is you actually get to see the cars moving. Yeah, yep. like that's the only yeah. thing. I so that's why if we were to ever do Quill again, uh, you got to stay till the very end when all the cars leave. Yeah, then they just they file out the same. They only have one exit. Mm. They all go through the same exit. Hmm. So I was like, dude, that was awesome. Like one thing we need to bring next year or go and buy or something are uh, like camping chairs. Yeah, just sit on a cool spot. Out. So you just post up with a camping chair and you'd be set for a while. We didn't have camping chairs. I also saw there was a lot of activity in downtown Monterey. Yeah, we didn't do yeah. any of that, and we didn't do that, and we didn't go see the Spanish Bay Inn, which that's where like all the crazy crap was staying there. Hmm. So that that SP three was there, the Valkyrie was there. Um, the Apollo, one of the Apollos was there. I think maybe both Apollos. I don't know. All that crazy crap was just lined up out front of the Spanish Bay Inn. Mm. So crazy. Yeah. You gonna come next year, Gabe? If we do it, start saving up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a big investment now. for one. Yeah. It's a one it's trip. an experience, Gabe. It's it's definitely it's expensive, but it's worth it. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the yellow spider. Did we? Yeah, it's up. The, the it's on the list. website. Yeah, the listing's up. It's for sale. Somebody buy it. Yeah. Somebody's gonna get a really good car for a pretty good price on that one. Yeah, that one's. Yeah, I'll up. be curious to see how quickly the yellow one goes. Seems like oh. is this the first first yellow car you've sold? No, first yeah. in a while. Uh, we had the three five five that was yellow. Oh yeah, Hoovies. Yeah, Hoovies. Um, Hoovies. Yeah. I feel like it'll sell quickly. Oh, yeah. It should. Just barely above a hundred grand for an OEM gated car. Yeah. I mean, it looks really good too. I mean, it's got really good. It doesn't look like a turd. No, it's got it's got flaws, but they're not crazy. Yeah, they're flaws you can live with and drive it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's truly like the perfect driver's car. Like paint. Yeah, it's like actually the paint's in better condition than you think. Um, like it doesn't have a bunch of swirls or anything. Like it's it's not bad, but like you know you can see that there's paint work. You can see that there's chips. You know this actually funny enough the interior is really quite good. Yeah. Um, they had swapped out the seats, so the seats are actually in really great shape. Yeah. Hmm. So I saw yeah I saw Sam crack in his uh, burn up F four thirty. You bought a burnt F430? Yeah, the yeah. fuel pump's cracked, you know. One of those. How bad is it burnt? Uh, it just burnt through the the uh, passenger side. The Like, the fender was gone. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, completely gone. Surpr- 
surprisingly not that much damage all things considered like i thought it was gonna be just a basket case they didn't have to rewire a bunch of crap or did they already fix it yeah. they got it driving but there's still no i don't know I, I, yeah i don't really watch his stuff i like <laughs> i have i have a mental block against his stuff i like him but i i hate his videos because i feel like everything he does is like not even half ass it's like quarter ass yeah and i think it sets a bad precedence in mm. the the Ferrari world yeah because he's he's always like oh we fixed this with this bullshitty part it's like <laughs> dude uh, I, the only videos i ever watched was he when he had a green 360 that he bought yeah, yeah. i watched those videos and i was like yeah this guy's I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he half asses everything, and it's not even a half ass. It's, it's like true. Dude, you, a little more effort, and it's half assed. Yeah, like, and it's I acceptable. Like, you know, I get, I get being like cheap on trying to fix the things, but like, don't be that cheap. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, you already got the car at like <laughs> yeah. half its value or whatever. So like, you could you save some money, man. Spend that money you saved, putting the car back to good condition. <laughs> yeah. But whatever, I don't care. It's it's his thing. Like you know, it's it's like the uh, uh, whistling diesel burning up that F eight. Like people people are all butthurt about that. And like whatever, man. Like it's it's his car. He can do whatever yeah. the hell he wants with it. His car, his money. Yeah, like <laughs> good good for him. Yeah, <laughs> I'm more just surprised we didn't hear about that in the paper because they said they were near Waco. Like we should have yeah heard about that. Uh, I mean, is it really that big a deal though that some dumbass burn up a Ferrari? I figured more like the fire aspect of it because it's so dry. <laughs> yeah, I like that idea. My next T-shirt: Don't be that cheap. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. <clears throat> but what most people. <laughs> oh, go ahead. I was just gonna comment on that. I what does his stepmother look like? So, so you know what it is? He hired a porn star. Oh. To, to be his stepmother. Oh and, my god! Uh, I I can guarantee you at least half the people here have seen her at her actual job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, damn it! Now I had to go find that. <laughs> he hired her for like his videos. I mean, I, he had to have because yeah. she's a porn star. Like, like first time I saw it, I saw her in the video. And I'm like, you're like I know wait. her. I'm like, she's familiar. Something's not right there. And then I like watched it closely and like. It finally clicked. I don't, I don't remember her name now. It'll come up. I'll think of it in a minute. But <laughs> Dan, you sound like a smoker. I know, dude. I sound so bad right he now. Smokes, right. He does a pack a day. <laughs> yeah. Two packs. Yeah. Corey, oh, Corey got Chase. That damn cigarette in his hand. It. Corey Chase. That's her name. Corey Chase. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She's a, she's like a a, a milf. You know, like a, a milk oh, okay. porn star or whatever. Yep. And Casey with a double entendre. <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended. Yeah. Oh man, that's too funny. Yeah, that was that was um, good on him. I mean, that was a brilliant move. Oh yeah. Like, I, um, YouTube I'm not shut him down on the stepmom thing. What do you? What does that mean? That's. Well, he's still I guess doing I gotta it. go watch his video now. Damn it. Oh, maybe like YouTube probably was not happy with that or something. I'm sure they know. demonetized it, but well, I mean, like it was like it's like taking like the hot girl on a car channel thing to the nth degree, <laughs> you know? Like, like there's always like the hot girl that gets eighty times more clicks than any other video just because it's got a hot chick. But then you had in the porn star, and she was just, like not shy. Obviously, her career. You know, like so, it was whatever. It was funny. I, I mean, I thought that was brilliant, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, go watch her video. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Like half the dudes here are just like, like, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, like, new tab, in kind of video. <laughs> You're, gonna, you're about to lose some viewers, Dan. Yeah. I know, Click the viewers. like button before you leave. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Who are we kidding? Everybody. We still got a half an hour. People will be back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, she didn't man. have any rent money? Oh, that's too uh, bad. Oh, yeah. I'm sure she did. <laughs> oh, 
oh lordy too funny too funny oh man um next time bring tyler's car the problem with bringing cars out there is you either got to ship them which yeah. is going to be close to four thousand dollars or we got a trailer them which adds four, four days. days to the trip so it really kind of sucks either way yeah and that's why oops that's why we kind of like didn't do it this year i mean we had the 48 last year was already out there and then we brought the um 599 because that was worthy of showing off you know like but this year we just didn't have anything to show off yeah i mean it'd been fun to have a car out there but it also been way more stressful to have a car oh, yeah. out there. Right. trying to park it anywhere oh yeah uh, and and plus then we'd be taking two or three cars everywhere instead of just shoving everyone honestly i i think if if we were to go again, I would skip Exotics on Broadway because we've done it twice now, or I've done it three times, but yeah, we've done it twice, and it's kind of a crap. You know, it's just, it's just it was it's the one really cool thing is you get to meet a lot of fans. Yeah. So I mean, I it's probably a cool had, event. It's just overwhelming amount of people. Yeah, it's it's not like it's great if you're just going to Car Week for one day because you get to see a ton of crazy crap, but if you're there all week, it's like exhausting, you know? So, um, you got to pull a shmi and roll in for 30 minutes and then be like, all right, see ya. Yeah. Peace out. Which we're not cool enough to be that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yes, I still have the 575 right now. Uh, we still got to do the, uh, major service. We got to fix the, um, heater issue and, oh, the parking brake. That's it. I, knew, I was like, there's three things on the list. I don't know what. The, okay. Uh, what is the most common career or income stream of all the hypercar owners you saw there? Passive. Uh, we didn't ask them what they were did for a living. Yeah. I mean, if they're under 30, mom and dad. If they're over 30, then investments. <laughs> investments, real estate, scams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there was at least one Ponzi scheme person oh, there. More, <laughs> a lot of business owners, small business owners. Yeah, yeah, business owners, definitely. I mean, it's honestly, it's this. I would assume it's kind of the same thing as you meet a lot of Ferrari owners, just to the nth degree, right? Uh -huh. So, I mean, in the Ferrari owner world, you meet a ton of business owners. You meet uh, software. We got we to gotta tell everybody about Ginger. Oh, God. Ginger. <laughs> Ginger from the Ferrari Club dinner. Yep. Sounds like a story. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, we went to this Ferrari Club dinner and the president of the Pacific region or whatever, her name is Ginger. And she's an older lady, super nice, was helpful and, and um got Very Jocko friendly. got Jocko his mm -hmm. ticket to get in and everything. And so I asked her, I was like, So what do you what kind of Ferrari do you have? And then she just starts laughing and we're like yeah. Uh -oh. She's like, do you have some time for a story? And we're like, sure. sure. First of all, she's like, I think I have seven right now or something like that, yeah. right? And you'd see this lady and you'd be like, no way. This like, lady has seven Ferraris. Yeah. There's, she yeah. doesn't even have one Ferrari. Give me a break. But uh, the long story short is she does have seven Ferraris. Including We didn't believe, we didn't believe it. We yeah, didn't including believe it. And so Enzo. She's got two Enzos. Wow. Yeah, two Enzos. She's got a Scud, a 16M. A Ford uh, GT40, a GTR, a 458. Yep. And what else? Holy shit. Uh, Mercy? Is it a Mercy? A Mercy, yeah. uh, Mercy yeah. SV. Yeah. yeah, in white. And all of them, all of these cars are all white. Except the mm -hmm. Enzo. The one Enzo is black. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Casey. <laughs> I wonder what her story was. Uh, uh, background. Some sort she of told us, uh, she told us that she was an attorney on Wall Street, yeah. Hmm. But uh, Crazy. yeah, it was she has her own helicopter. <laughs> I, I believe that, yeah. at all. Josh found some videos of her doing high speed runs in like, the Lambo, yeah, like videos <laughs> of her doing a high speed run in the SV. She's trying to get it to 200, yeah. Wow, <laughs> so that's the I thing I really that. enjoy about like going to some of those Ferrari color things is like. You don't know, like in in, you know, I would have no idea without knowing who this was ahead of time. But like, you just yeah. start schmoozing. Next thing you're like, oh my god, like that's impressive yeah. as hell. 
I can say I think most car guys have seen this movie multiple times. Mm. Oh, of course. Yeah. That movie's awesome. Yes. You saw it in Eleanor over there, right? <laughs> There's oh, yeah. a couple of multiple. Them. Couple mm-hmm. of them. Yeah. Someone being sold. That dinner sucked. <laughs> that dinner was eh. I mean, that was the best part of the dinner was talking to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the desserts were good. Yeah. I just wish it had been more people. Like it was small. The, the the biggest letdown was there was no Ferraris there. Yeah. Yeah, I, and no one drove their Ferraris. Everyone yeah. was from out of town, so everyone had rental cars or Ubers or whatever. <laughs> the Rolex party next door had more nice cars. I though. like this. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's true. Uh sucked worse than a three hundred thousand dollar Mustang. That that was just weird. It was like, weird. I, I mean, I actually think it looks great, but three hundred grand? No. Yeah, no. for some fancy sorry. racing suspension and stuff. Like like I'm sorry, like no. They Ford should have if they wanted to do a three hundred thousand dollar Mustang, they should have done like a mid engine like serious badass thing, uh-huh. you know? But whatever. Yeah. I mean, I'm that, sure that would have been the car to, to unveil a mid engine Mustang, but they didn't. Right. I mean, it's if they don't do a mid engine Mustang, they're idiots. Well, or they're just gonna kill off the Can Mustang. they do a mid engine Mustang for like fifty grand? I mean they, I'm sure they, they could. Should. Wouldn't that be pretty I, I mean that would be kind of cool. Oh my god. Oh, could they, you imagine that? Yeah. It it would it would make the Corvette look like a turd. Yeah. I feel like, oh, for half the price I can get a Mustang that's mid engine. We saw a bunch of Ford GTs. Oh yeah. Tons of that, them. The bright pink one was loud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a neat color for that car, but it it was a I choice. Went to- Buy a twenty-inch pizza from Mountain Bikes, and it was a freaking ninety dollars. Everything there is pretty expensive. How many toppings is that? Like my goodness, sixteen all the, toppings. All the toppings. <laughs> Personally, I would trade one of the Enzos for F forty or Pagani Wyra. I agree. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. The Pagani's not going to hold its value as well as the Ferraris will over time. Probably. Well, the Pagani's, they're they're uh, they're worth more than they paid for them still. Yeah, but think in about the... getting those worked on if you need parts for them and stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's gonna be a bitch. It's gonna be a mm-hmm. bitch. Yeah. Well, still. Yes, they still call it electric turd. A must. That was a mistake. Ford Ford was dumb mm-hmm. for doing that. I know. The Mach E. So dumb. The 288 GTO, oh my God. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. The coolest thing about that was just to see one on the street that was driven and there wasn't any barriers around it, like nothing, just like. And then. How much are those worth? Uh, actually, only like three to four million. Oh, okay. Oh, only. <laughs> would, I mean, for how rare it is and how special it is, you'd think it'd be like seven to 10. But. Um, the the GTD is cool. I just think three hundred thousand dollars is absurd. Yep. You know, like it's there's still, a lot. It's still a Ford Mustang. At the end of the day, and the <laughs> quality, you know, when you look inside of it, still looks like a Ford Mustang, and it's three hundred grand. Yeah. Well, in in fairness, the windows were blacked out. You couldn't look inside of it. Yeah, well, that's true. Interior. I mean, you just like the the trim and everything. I guess yeah. that was probably like a pre production. Car or something like that. I thought it was fascinating that it had a crop of its exhaust on it. Yeah. Yeah. That was weird. It was like you outsourced your exhaust to a crop of it? Are they gonna make a lot of them? I don't know anything uh, about that. I don't, I don't know. Sounds like it's a race yeah. oriented one. Yeah. I don't think they're planning to make Mustang its own brand. I think it's done because there was no Ford branding anywhere in those things. It was just Mustang G T D. Yeah. Like just true. like the Mach E. I don't know why Mustang. brands do that. It's stupid. It removes the connotation you might have of it being a Ford. Yeah, yeah but to I people mean, that it's still a Ford. <laughs> people that don't have a phone in their pocket. Right, I know. Can't, can't Google anything. We gotta remember most people. I, I think it works in some like 
like when you have like a Hyundai and they just call it like the Elantra or whatever. The Genesis. Yeah, the Genesis. <laughs> Genesis. Give me a break. Give but, me a break. But, you know, the dumb consumer. Poor man's Bentley. Poor man, you know, yeah, exactly. The dumb whatever person who's like, oh, look at this. It's a Genesis. Yeah. It's like, it's a Hyundai. <laughs> it's a piece of shit. It's got carbon GTA, fiber it, body. Okay. It's yeah, that's cool. Carbon fiber body panels. Okay. What other stuff does Multimatic build? Don't they build some other crazy cars too for other brands? I honestly have never heard of them. No clue who Speed Phenom is. The Helenor Mustangs on cars and bids with 1500 horsepower was actually so sweet. It sold like 55K. Jeez. Wow. Damn. That would have been badass. For I know. Oh I love that. That would be awesome. I did actually have like some like things pulled at my heartstrings for stuff I wanted from my childhood. There was yeah. that, that Ford GT40 that drove by on, on Ocean Ave. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. like, mm, God, I think I have to have one. <laughs> like, so, oh, man, that thing was just disgusting. Like, specked out like that with, like, just huge steamrollers in the rear and, like, you know, not like a street car at all. <laughs> I yeah. think you need to build a rep. That'd be cool. <sighs> I mean, I want to, but like, I don't want to tie up that much money for that long. It'll be, it would take a while. It would take yeah. probably one to two years at least. Hmm. Okay. If it's a homologation car, that makes a lot more sense. I, I didn't look that much more into it because we were busy. The uh, GTD. But... Doug DeMiro is the oldest looking 35 year old man. <laughs> <laughs> He's 35. I thought he was older than that. Uh, I knew he was much younger than me. I don't remember why. Wow. It. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Well, I mean, he's worked really hard to get where he's at. Good on him, man. Yeah. That's awesome that he's done what he's done. Like, got millions in the bank at 35. Kudos. Heck yeah. I feel like of of like the car YouTubers, he's he the two car YouTubers who have executed the best business plan is him and Cletus McFarland. In my opinion. What does that. Cletus do? He's got his whole brand, the the Freedom Factory, like huh. just t like they have a, a manufacturing thing that they're part owners of, like all sorts of stuff. And I'm like, that's the way to do it because all those things aren't going to go away as easily as a YouTube channel. Like, yeah. Yep. Yeah. We didn't even mention career GT. We saw many oh, of those, tons. all of them. Mm. Yeah. We all rode next to one, the, the light blue one for miles. Mm -hmm. That was cool. <laughs> oh. Yeah. What do we think of the Apollo IEs? I think they're stupid. I think they sound amazing. <laughs> the they orange one cool. especially was stupid. The orange one. Was I dumb, wasn't yeah. as offended by the other one. Yeah, the orange yeah. one. I mean, like, come on, like, we don't need shark fins. This isn't. We're not oh, six yeah. year olds. Like, I feel like it, it literally. Much. It literally appeals to like people who are still mentally six years old. <laughs> which I mean, which if you're everyone a, here is like, <laughs> yeah. good. For, ah, well played, Apollo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Oh, you're giving them more credit than I am. You're saying it's 13 year olds. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, we'll go. We'll go with yours. 13 years old. Okay. Um, I like that Dan guy that sells Ferrari parts and also does DIY on YouTube. Thank you. <laughs> We're actually going to be able to start doing some stuff soon because our shop mm. is almost done. Dan well, and I did car stuff yesterday, and I did some stuff today, and it was awesome. Dude, nice. first time like working on cars in forever because like the shop's actually at a point where we can. Nice. Yeah. Do you get the lifts in? No, mm -hmm. they're they're stuck in shipping hell. Mm -hmm. So, the lift company was supposed to ship them out, and then um, they've been using uh, what is it like yellow truck or yellow. whatever? Yeah. Oh no, they went and bankrupt. Went bankrupt. Oh, shit. So we need to find wherever your lifts are in a yellow truck <laughs> and go. Apparently further. they're in Seattle. <laughs> they're like in Seattle or something. I'm like, oh great! Like the furthest point from us in the continental U.S. It's like great. Jeez. So I have no idea where we're gonna get them. 
hopefully in a week. I suspect not. Have you called them to ask, like, what's up? And they just uh, tell you, I don't know. Well, I called them, and that's what they told me about that. So yeah. I don't have an update yet. I threatened to cancel the order if they can't get them here. Because if it's just going to take <laughs> yeah. six months or something, it's like we can need them before that. Yeah, that's true. I, I mean, what are they doing? Are they just letting them all pile up at their shop? Like, that's not feasible either. I don't yeah. get it. So, whatever. We got, I mean, we were talking, we got, we're getting the checklist of crap is narrowing down for the shop. Like, we still have the, the wash bay has to be finished out. They cut the doors open. So oh, we actually, cool. Yeah, we have five doors now. Woo-hoo. Yeah, it's awesome. It's amazing. Um, Let's see. What else we got? Finish uh, the wall. Finish the uh, wall. And do the kitchen. The kitchen. Mm, cool. And then we got to do some painting. Uh, we're going to paint yeah. the roof black. Yeah. And I got to hit him up again. He never got back to me. Yeah, let's do that. And I'm going to paint the posts in there red. Did you get the roof done? The roof is sealed. Good. He did do it? Yeah, he did. Okay, cool. He said there on the right side, There's he saw exactly where it was leaking. There's two panels that overlapped. Yeah. And so he cocked all of that, and he cocked all the gutters. So, oh, nice! It should be good, dude. Our our contractor has been awesome. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> he's, he's a good guy, man. We invited him to the grand opening. Party. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully he shows <laughs> up. <laughs> I mean, he's he's been at the shop almost as much as we have. He's been mm. he's literally been working on that shop for what two months now. Yeah. So I mean, it, but he comes and he'll like not show up for a week and then he'll come for two days and he only spends like four or five hours there and then he leaves. Hmm. So he's kind of just doing it at his own pace, which is fine. Yeah. Good news is we're not really on a tight schedule. So it worked out. Yeah. He's, he's done good, good quality work. So yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, let's see. I'm trying to look back and see if there's anything I missed. Casey What's your car, made... J Rod. Oh, said he got a lot of light, a lot of nice comments. Just curious what your car is. Yeah, I'm curious where it was parked too. If we saw it, is a contractor into cars? Not really. No. Um. Man, what else is going on? Oh, we still have. So right now the the Lambo's gone finally. Ding dong, the witch is dead. The mercy. We are, we're uh, never doing Lambos again. <laughs> That's it. If someone has one they want to buy and want to use you to broker the deal, will you do it? If they pay up front. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's just a nightmare dealing with Lambos. <laughs> it's the worst. We sold the black four five eight. Yeah. Oh, cool. That lasted all of zero days or whatever. Yeah, it didn't even last. It didn't even get to list it. Wow. Um, that car is awesome. Dan and I filmed yesterday. We filmed a four eighty eight versus four five eight video. Oh, cool. With the nice. two black cars. So that'll be yeah, cool. That'll, that'll be good. And then we got the yellow three sixty manual. We still got the four thirty spider that's gray with red. And we got the Cali, the ultra clean Cali. Don't so, sleep on the Cali. It's a good yeah. car. Mm-hmm. Dude, the, I, we, it was funny is when we were taking pictures of it the other day, we were like, man, this is a really good looking car. Mm-hmm. Even Casey was like, I like, I'm starting to like the Cali now. Dude, that Casey. one we saw in Monterey that had been lowered mm. yeah. with the wheel spacers, yep. yeah. that really set that car off. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, wait, is this an F12? I think yeah. I think you get a lot of car for your money with the Cali too. You get all the modern tech that the 458 mm-hmm. has. Yep. And it's like half the price. Yeah, the DCT. Yeah. Yep. Uh, we're asking 109 for ours. I think, yeah, 109, right? For the Cali, yeah. Yeah. 109 for that. 109 for the 360, and then 119 for the 430. That's a good deal. Thoughts on the Portofino? I think the Portofino is a bit 
overpriced right now. I, I think they're too much money for what you get. I'd rather have the California. Yeah. For for what a hundred grand less. It, yeah, that's the thing. They're like a hundred grand less just because the Portofino looks better. Okay. It's newer. Yeah, I didn't know it was that big of a delta. Yeah. Uh, it might not be a hundred. No, but it's a actually, lot. It's, it's more comparable or, or more analogous to the California tea, mm. which those are like a hundred and sixty to hundred and eighty or whatever. I think so, that's too much for those. <laughs> yeah, I would rather have the Cali than the Cali Sounds tea. better. If you're gonna spend one eighty, I'd get a four five eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could probably get a four five eight spider with some miles on it for one eighty to two hundred. Sadly, though, I think the Kelly T is faster than the four five eight. Yeah. Really? I think so. What? It doesn't what? sound as good. No. <laughs> it doesn't look as good. It's either. not as fun to drive. I guarantee yeah. you that. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I like the I like the Portofino though. It's a good car. I like the Roma. I think the Roma is like understated casey's casey's our roma enthusiast <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. you need to let us drive your roma casey bring it out here oh, I don't think oh he drives the roma out. we forgot to ask the, is anyone on here interested in an off-market white f8 spider with like 1200 miles and a really high spec oh, red interior no, not me <laughs> no, no it's a black interior with uh, it's got red stripes of the seats. Yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, <ugly. laughs> and I guess the other part of the equation is, and has the money to purchase one. Yeah. Owner financed uh, it 3%. Uh, no. Debbie. Get Debbie on the line. Yeah. It's, we, we got offered it. She'd be like, um, you could have it, but you got to put 200 down. <laughs> we got, yeah. So we, we got offered to buy it, but we're like, uh, it's just it's too much money for us to tie up. From, Makes sense. Is in the fours, hmm? high threes. Oh yeah, it's in the upper fours. Oof. Yeah, it's a it's a reasonably high. I think it was a three seventy eight MSRP. Yeah, so, it's a high spec. It's got a lot of carbon fiber stuff on it. Yeah. We did not see it uh, in person. I've only seen videos of it, but it was. Uh, it's through a reasonably trusted source so anyway hmm. probably not gonna buy it no yeah. it's too much money. yeah yeah 325 maybe talk oh about, i don't but... think that they're worth over sticker but 325 my god i'd be buying it like i'd yeah. be all over that shit especially for a spider oh yeah yeah i have to agree with this if you're gonna spend close to 500 you just need to buy a specialty car yep don't waste yeah. your time because the F8 is going to drop in value over time. Dude, for that much money, we could go buy that uh, total pista. <laughs> I can't. He wants too much for it. That's like yeah. a, maybe a three hundred thousand dollar car. Yeah, yeah. He's he's asking all the money on that thing, but it is like, I mean, what was it? It was like a six hundred seventy thousand dollar MSRP. I think it was five seventy. Jesus, it was five seventy. Okay, maybe it was. The problem with that car is we saw it in person in Car Week. Yeah. And I saw the pictures when it was in the wreck and it had got hit in the front left. Pretty bad hit. And it's got all this green carbon fiber on it, which is cool, but they did not do the best job repairing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It sucks. It looks They're, good even at 10 they, feet away, but when you get closer, yeah. it's like, ooh. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's, probably... a hard, that's a hard choice. He's tough. Oh. We've talked about that. That's, I, yeah. oof, I don't know, man. Uh, I'd probably after, do the pista, honestly. Yeah, after driving Jocko's pista. I'll, well, I'll Dan have. and I, after we filmed the video yesterday of the 458 and the 488, they both have Klein in canals, the straight pipe oof. with tunes, and they're lowered. Nice. I mean, the 458 just sounds oh, insane, yeah. but the 488, it just, it's better it, car. All, it also sounds pretty badass. It makes jet yeah. fighter sounds. <laughs> yeah, I, I I really Damn. can't wait to check out Harry's car since you have a bag. Yeah, and yeah. I think and then we were like, okay, what's the perfect car? I think it's a pista with a, a straight pipe on it and a tune. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jocko, that's. <laughs> would Jocko do that? Would he lower, straight pipe? <laughs> Jocko ain't straight piping anything. <laughs> no. dude, a lowered tuned straight pipe pista would be just sick. Yeah. I mean, because it's just such a good-looking car. They really, that is, 
they hit a home run on that car. I mean, it truly is one of the best looking Ferraris to come out in the last 20 years. Hmm. Uh, is the F8 quicker than the Pista? No. I think the Pista has 707 horsepower and the F8 690 or something. It's a little lower, I think. The Pista is a lot lighter. Yeah. Yo, what was that like, Tyler, hmm. driving that? Would you drive it out in Michigan? Yeah. The Pista? Do you have to open it up at all? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 55 definitely definitely right. yeah i think uh jocko quoted saying to me when you were in a round he said you know when i told tyler that he could drive it and drive it as however he wants i didn't think he would actually drive it however he wants <laughs> <laughs> he Hell said yeah. to put my foot down so yeah. i did hey he, he I, I never scared him he never like wanted me to not do what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it it just had that rawness. Like it still felt like, you know, a an F one gearbox. Like, it hit that hard. You oh. know, it just it had that feeling, that connection that <clears throat> and, uh, you don't get out of the other cars. When I drove the regular forty eight, like it it felt leaps and bounds better than that. Like more connected to it. Wow. So that that's really the big comparison. And the sounds that the 488 makes are awesome when you have that open exhaust. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Dang it. Now we got to drive a piece to. <laughs> you really do. You really oh, do. God. Don't bring up him. <laughs> He's not part of the company. And uh, I'd prefer if you don't talk about him ever. We want to say some stuff, but we can't. I'm legally not allowed to talk about <laughs> it. So thank you. <laughs> Who's your beetle enthusiast? Casey's wife. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you were buying one for her he, right he when I was down there. Did, she had yeah. a she had one and then she wanted another one. So I got her another one. <laughs> that was nice. so random. You're like, I'm gonna go and pick it up a beetle and you're driving that just around <laughs> the beetle Austin. around? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, what is Josh who is he getting? Oh this I've driven for? I've dri I've driven some <clears throat> crap cars around. <laughs> oh dude. <laughs> <laughs> the Malibu Max. Oh, the God. Malibu Max. <laughs> There's so, still oh, oil stains in my driveway from that thing. So, some of you may know Steve from the channel, the uh, bearded dude that comes on the live or used to come on the live once in a while. He had a 2002 SL500 Silver Arrow. Um, if you know what that is, then you know your Mercedes. But, anyways, he was here visiting like a couple months ago in his fiance or wife or whatever was driving it and rear-ended somebody and messed it up pretty good um like caved in the hood caved in the front Shit. and so didn't basically, crash, that. crash bar deployed yeah. yeah the crash bar deployed that comes up if you roll the car over he's <laughs> so uh <laughs> uh i got him with my buddy that helped him with insurance and everything and basically i bought the wrecked car from him so Wait, you bought it i bought it yeah oh. i'm gonna fix it up Damn. Yeah, so I'll do a video on that if anybody cares. <laughs> yep. That was when he was here doing the conversion? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Poor, and poor guy. Crappy, well, it. it actually worked out really good for him because he told me what he wanted to sell it for, and that's what he got from insurance. Yeah. So he actually – and then I ended up getting buying the car from him, so it worked out for him pretty hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Maybe Monica was in on it all the whole time. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. The hit's pretty no. good. It didn't deploy the airbags, but it needs a hood and Just a bumper. Just kidding, Steve, and... if you're watching. <laughs> uh, it... <laughs> the brown Mondial was fire, or it should have been set on fire. Uh, yeah. The poor thing was like asking to be killed. Like, please. It was like doing the aliens, like, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, the Super Legera, I mean, that would suck. Would you rather have an F12 or 458? That's tough. I'm feeling like I would rather have the 458. I thought that I've, was an obvious answer for you. Yeah. I, I, mean, I probably would too. I don't F12's know. F12's a cool car and it's powerful, but it just doesn't feel the same. It feels heavy after you drive it four feels weighty. Like it's a badass car, don't get me wrong. And if you 
put exhaust on them, they sound just ungodly, but mm, yeah. How about that mid engine having that light front that you could just toss around? I just that's the thing. I feel like the mid engine cars are just so much more driver centric. You know, it's just yep. Yeah. But yeah, to totally different animals. It's really hard to say. Hmm. Oh well. It makes me that's making me start to wonder if the guy that was driving the Mondial for the auction actually was the owner. <laughs> No, he was laughing. No, he was laughing at it when he was sitting mm -hmm. in it. Okay. Yeah. We were teasing well, him. Was, I was just thinking he was so quick to like, oh, I'm not the owner. I'm not the owner. Like, no, like, <laughs> dude, we were, we were pointing out some of the stuff. Like, I think you were pointing out like the seatbelt or whatever. And he like took it and was like. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny. He was, he was, laying, he was hamming it up. Oh, man. Oh, God. We're talking about that guy again. No. All right, I guess it's time for Evan to go uh, Google. Uh, what is her name? Kate. We got uh, we got Corey, some homework to do. Corey Chase. Go, Corey Chase. Okay. So as soon as we're done, go Google Corey Chase. Don't do it without having your uh, browser set to um, incognito, <laughs> unless you don't care. Uh, anyway, I guess unless it's you uh, alone. Yeah, yeah, it's already nine thirty-three, so we'll call it good. Although. I only was here for. We still have 117 people watching. Yeah. <laughs> Amazingly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I can I can keep going, but you know I'm sure you guys are tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm beat. Yeah, yeah, Josh is beat definitely. Any minute now, I'm pretty sure the little man's gonna wake up. And I'm gonna <laughs> oh yeah. Because he usually he usually wakes up once before I go. Like sometime usually between 10 and 11, he wakes up crying. You go in there. You give him a cuddle for like two minutes and he, he's back out. Hmm. And then usually, so lately he's been sleeping until about four to 5 a.m. And then you just hear this little tiny person shuffling their way into the bedroom, <laughs> you know, because he's wearing a sleep sack. So he can't take full strides. So you hear, <laughs> and he crawls his ass in bed and passes out until uh, I think he's gotten up at six every day this week so far it sucks Ugh. no wonder you're still sick you're not getting a full night's sleep no. oh hell no no Jeez. i have you I've... got it going around like four and give him some melatonin <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a, actually when he when he walks his ass back in at like 4 a.m yeah like yeah here's your dose product. here's your dose Let's go back it. to bed you eight o'clock uh it's so bad it's like he he starts like getting antsy right so he's like mm. so you're like in that half sleep state where you're too tired to do anything about it yeah but you're you're being woken up but you're like you're annoyed i don't want to get, get up it sucks <laughs> anyway all right guys oh i should get the thing ready all right yeah so uh oh i was thinking um not next week but the week after we should convince the ladies to do the the ngs ladies night live That'd be fun. You still want to do the ladies night? <laughs> at the Howard? She wants to do it at the Howard. <laughs> oh. I mean, I guess you could go to the yeah, Howard. She could do it wherever. On the live? Yeah. She said, I don't know anything that's, about cars. That's the fun of it. <laughs> yeah. That's the whole point. <laughs> yeah, she wants to do about it. cars. Oh, so man. everybody's, everybody's got to have some good questions. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that night oh, you yeah, definitely okay. have to have some okay. questions. So I'm thinking two weeks from now we do that. Okay. Two weeks from now. Uh, what date is that? I don't know. Seven. Uh, the seventh? Yeah, seventh. I'm I'm out of town. You are? No, no. Oh. Just joking. Oh, okay. That I'm not be... on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what was that? Something, something, whatever. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. All right. Go Google Corey Chase. And, she can uh, talk. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh God. Oh man. All right, guys. We'll see you next week, and uh, we got some more videos coming. So uh, we'll see you guys then. Night. Later. <laughs>